There we go. You probably know this is my inventory organisation. Pickaxe in the first slot, then spade, then axe, then sword, then primary building material, then whatever else, um, then torches in the ninth slot. Makes thing, it makes it very easy to locate my tools when um, I'm not thinking. But then when I on the rare occasions so I don't have the right tools, I, of, I often find myself dropping down a tree and automatically switching to the third slot, and then it will have something ridiculous in it, like uh, some uh, like um, a pork chop or some dirt and I'll just be hitting the tree with the pork chop. So yeah, I usually try and keep the right tools in the right slots. It's a very good hand. Christ, it's a real storm out there. Let's see, how far down are we? Um the Y coordinate is the number of blocks we are above the bottom of the map, so we're forty three blocks above it. I have a look. Hopefully I won't be struck by lightning. I'm pretty sure my luck's not that bad. It's getting dark. What? Oh, God, scared me. Um, where are you? There. Okay, well I can't see it anymore, so hopefully it's not around. sleep through the night. That was pretty spooky. That was pretty spooky seeing the lightning flash through the door like that. Yeah, take that scare and I can hear you burning. That's for shooting me. So, so there's a lot of them. They're just under the bridge. No, I don't know where they are. Probably just up there. Well, back down the mine, harvest some minerals. I'll probably cut a lot of this out because just seeing me digging through rock is boring. And there's not a hell of a lot to talk about. So I'll just chop this bit out until something interesting happens, which I'm sure will be very soon. Okay, I can hear some water. Coming from this way, that probably means there's a cave nearby. And caves mean lots of resources, but they also mean lots of monsters. Where are you? That means that there's a cave right by me. Just need to find it. Is it above me? Is it below me? Can't really tell. Even though I'm wearing headphones, the direction is hard to pin down. Oh. oh, cavern, where art thou? I seem to spend a lot of my time trying to find caverns like this. Whoa, there's something in this cavern. And oh, I just opened it. That was uh my rock dropping in. Here we are. Put some rocks down, see what's down. Apart from the monsters, the inevitable monsters, there'll be lots of monsters down here. I can promise you that, so you'll have some action. Let's dig out this coal. Where the hell is this water coming from? don't see a single source block, it's just coming from nowhere. Very odd. It's like lava when it's dissipating, it acts all weird. Must be some weird bug. Some more iron! I love iron, you can never have too much iron. And then we'll explore further into the cave. Deeper and deeper. Oh. Not much here. Kind of anticlimactic. Oh well, there's some more stuff back here I saw. So this is the way we will go. I mean, look at that. Where's that coming from? What's that? 
Okay, there's something down there. Be very careful. Very careful. Is that gold? It's gold. I feel like the gold's like trying to tempt me into a trap. Also, when you see gold. Oh, Christ! It's right there. Okay. Nope. There we go. Also, when you see gold. I always feel that I'm in danger of delving too deep. Um, there's endermen everywhere here, and zombies, and this big hole is so rather ominous. There's lots of very ominous things in this next play. O ominous. Where are you? Okay, I've got the guns, got the iron. The one mistake I make when I'm mining is I keep on going for ages and I keep all my stuff on me and then obviously I inevitably die and then I lose all my stuff if I can't get back and find it in time. So what I'm going to do now is... Pro oh damn, I don't have enough woods if I don't do it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back up, I'm going to craft a chest, I'm going to place it down here, I'm going to put all my valuables in it. And I'm going to keep on going back to put valuables in the chest so that I don't lose them all. And I reckon that would be a very good idea. Something which I never normally do. Even though I really should. It's daytime again. About midday. Got plenty of food on me. That was just good. <coughs> and I don't have any more wood up here. That's not good. Um, I'll go get some more quickly because luckily I've got this massive forest surrounding the entire place. And I should probably make another new pickaxe, because I don't want to run out of uh, pickaxe. That will completely ruin everything. Okay. That should be enough, just if I'm going to just be crafting a chest. Go back down. I'll make the entrance a bit prettier at some point in the near future hopefully I think I'll make myself a crafting bench which I can take down there and then I'll make the chest once I'm down there so let's go into the mines deeper and deeper how uh, high am I? Well, here I'm 30 off. I right, go steeper. Okay, I'll put the I'll put the workbench down there. I make myself a chest. There we go. Put it right there. And all the valuables. Not that I've got much, but still, all of them go in there. Um, need some cobblestone. Guess I need to build myself a couple of bridges, which will be inevitable. And I've still got lots of coal down here to collect. I'll just get to that. Ah, coal. It's always so much, and yeah, I always seem to be short on it. Whenever, whenever I see it, which is very often, I get a powerful urge to mine it all, and then I'm there for ages because there's always so much in these caverns porch down here so nothing spawns. Generally a good idea. And let's go. Oh. Oh I see it's like a little little patch, but it still makes very little sense. That was an enderman. They make the creepiest noises. Okay. It's right there. I just I just need to be careful not to look at it directly and it won't do anything. It kind of sounds like it's, uh, I don't know if I'm going to say what that sounds like. Um, can go down here. Not where the Enderman is. Oh God, there's, there's a zombie up. He's going to drop down on me, I'm sure. Okay, let's be careful. To panic, I made myself a new pickaxe. 
gonna, I bet it's gonna drop down. I need to expect it. It's waiting up there like a ninja. Oh Christ! No, it was just a distraction. It was just a distraction, so I didn't notice the skeleton. Conspiring against me, these mobs. That's a nice cavern. Lots of redstone. I need to get to that one. There's more than one of them. I can take them. I can take them. Maybe I'm... I think I can take them. Um, lots of mist because I'm underground. Some torches. Ah, I feel safe. This is really circular. In fact, it's perfectly circular. My god. Awesome. It's like a perfectly circular cavern. I can't let this go to waste. I'm going to have to make a little base down here. It's crying out to be converted into an awesome underground lair. I'll just harvest the minerals first. That's what I can do with lava. I can put it down here in my underground lair. <laughs> Everybody needs an underground lair. I haven't built much on the surface yet, but... Uh, what should I prioritise? Underground lair or surface construction? should probably do surface construction, but I'll keep this place safe. And I'll make it an underground lair. And I'll try not to damage the perfect circular shape. And just ignore the lag. Just ignore the lag. Doesn't happen very often, so when it does, please just ignore it. Okay, more gold! Ha ha ha. I'll be back. This place shall become my lair. few bits and pieces. <laughs> don't need too much for now, so if uh you guys have any really just started out on this world, it's a lot more work on this put into it. And I'll just harm this iron. Um but yeah, I'll be back down to create my lair sometime in the near future. Yeah, here's the way out. Kind of annoying if I forgot. Again that sort of thing always does seem to happen to me. Go. Having a lot more luck than usual this time. Some of my other worlds have been ruined by me dying down in my mine and not being able to find my stuff because it just gets so extensive. And I spend ages running around and I gather more stuff and go back down and I die. And it's just like this endless cycle of me dying constantly. It's not very pleasant. Okay, so. With one bit of coal, you can smelt eight pieces of ore. So, I'm going to need three pieces of coal. Yes, I can still add. Thank God. I need some more furnaces so I can do multiple little smelting batches going on at any one time. That should be pretty good. Got a bit of redstone. Not enough to make anything yet. I'm pretty good with redstone. I've made a lot of stuff with redstone. I'm going to put in some uh, contraption showcase videos sometime soon, which uh, hopefully will display some stuff I've made with redstone, because I've made an awful lot with redstone. And I do like redstone a lot. And I should probably keep this closed, especially at night. It's generally a bad idea to leave that sort of thing open. Okay, I can put the gold in here. And there we go, that's all smelting away. It should do nicely. And then I can start adding some more to the above ground area here. Hopefully. There we go. That seemed neater to me. Okay, I'm going to sleep through the night with the bed. 